everyone. Welcome to Heavy Metal. Out here on range day, and I have a new-to-me rifle. Just picked this thing up last week from a buddy of mine. Got the uh, Smith & Wesson MNP15. Now this is what I call the bone stalker. Basic front sight, plastic hand guard, carry handle with the uh, peep sight thing in there. And it does have the adjustable stock on it. Pretty basic, factory type magazine, no extended mag or anything crazy. This is just a good, solid M&P 15. Well, that sight's pulled over there to the left. I just wonder how much I'm going to miss with this thing. But I haven't had a chance to shoot it yet, so uh, that's what I'm all about today. Get it out here and just see how this thing will function. I have got some, uh, right off the bat, some tall ammo in uh, 223 Remington. This stuff's been sitting around for a while. So it has. There's a little bit of rust on it, guys. I'm going to use some of these that don't look so bad because uh, I don't want to mess up my new rifle. But let's go ahead and uh, load us up some in here. And like I say, I just want to see how the thing functioned. Just got it, have it, had a chance to, you know, do a thing with it. Now these are actually ammo I found in one of these old vehicles that I bought. It was the uh, 49 Ford truck. You know, it's a cardboard box laying in the floorboard and I happened to see these and I nabbed them up and I was like, hey, free ammo. So, that's hard to beat. We'll put uh, 10 of them in there. Yeah. 10 of them will let us know if this thing's going to function and if that sight is anywhere near, you know, being close to on. I got a screwdriver in my pocket so we can adjust it if need be. Alright, let's get some ears on and see how this thing functions. I did put a shave gel down there. Yeah, I couldn't find no shaving cream the last time I went out shopping. Yeah, the Dollar Tree, which ain't the Dollar Tree no more, it's the Dollar Twenty-Five, Three Dollar, and Five Dollar Tree. Yeah, sign of the times, everyone. Now it goes in well. It chambers. She's on fire. So let's just uh, let's go out there to uh, 50 yards and just see what we think about it. We'll try it on the big orange, or tell you what, let's come into 45 and I'll just shoot on big, big yellow. Flip that side around a little bit. I think it's hitting it. Let's try this uh, shaving gel here on the ground. We're popping it all over the place, but ain't popping it. We're popping it, all right. Wow. Doesn't take long to, uh, Go through 10. Well, here's what I think about it. I reckon the sight's pretty close. Which doesn't matter if it can take that handle and that sight off. I just don't like it. I think I'm going to put a scope on this thing. But the trigger feels good. The action's working good. Had no troubles with the magazine. And, uh, yeah, I mean, y'all know I'm a Smith & Wesson fan anyway. But, uh, I think I've had a couple of the uh, M&P-15s. It's been a while. But this thing right here, yeah, I mean, it, it really suits me. What, uh, oh, we got this crappy ammo. Well, if it won't shoot crappy ammo, then it's no good to us, right? Let's go ahead and shoot the rest of this uh, box here. 
thing with garbage, try to keep the range good and clean, guys. So, in case you come out here and help me, and we got everything picked up and it's looking pretty good. We did spray some weed killer. Hopefully that stuff starts taking over. I'd hate to know i got to weed eat that every week. That's a little rough on a young man like me. Yeah, like I say, this ammo so old it's got spider webs on it. Yeah, it's always good to run through a uh, brand new gun. There we go. I think it's 10. Maybe 11. But however many it is, that's what we're going to run through her. Now let's uh, drop the hammer on her. One of them old rusty bullets give it up then, didn't it? Yeah, them things were in pretty bad shape. But like I say, brand new rifle, I've not cleaned it. I've not oiled it. I've not done a thing to it. I brought it out here and let y'all see it and test drive it. And yeah, I gotta say, I like it. Give you another look at that thing. Yeah, good shooter. Uh, from what I'm gathering, uh, from what I've seen lately, these things are not like super expensive or stupidly priced, you know, affordable for the average person or whatnot. But uh, yeah, I like it. Well, everyone, appreciate you watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed the uh, Smith and Wesson MP15. I know I enjoy shooting it. Glad to have it as part of my collection. Well, if you would, throw us down some comments. If you're able, hit us up on Patreon and or the Super Thanks below. And please, like, share, and subscribe. Tell everybody, that B behind the camera, tell him. He'll subscribe if he can hit the button. Again, appreciate it much. Till the next one, we hope that everyone has a fantastic day.